What's up Simonix? Welcome to a special episode of our vlog which happens to be on day 5 of the Ionic holiday calendar. Today I want to take you with me on a journey behind the scenes of the Ionic Academy, what I do, how I do it, why I do it and what you can see, what you can't see if you're not yet a member. So let's do this! Before we completely dive into our topic, a quick reminder, next week I want to do an ask me anything Q&A, whatever you want to call it. Right now, stop the video, think about three or five seconds about the first question that comes to your mind that you want to know. I'm looking forward to your funny questions and I will hopefully answer most of them next week. Alright, so normally I don't look like this in the videos, you're more used to a look like this. And also, what you see most of the time in my videos is this little green wall right behind me. Of course, you don't see it because I normally edit it out, uh, don't forget about it. But I wanted to take you with me, so here we are inside my personal recording studio. But of course, this is not everything from my setup. You also never see the other side or rally. I'm sitting quite close, as you can see, to the green screen, which isn't perfect, but perhaps in the new flat, I will uh, find something to put the green screen directly onto the ceiling, but that's a plan for the future. On the walls, I also have some uh, noise canceling. Is this called noise canceling? And my setup, you see, Somewhere there is the little webcam I usually use for all my tutorials and I also look right in through this super bright light which feels like I'm in Hollywood. I also got two more background lights here and there to in general light up the scene and if I would look right into everything like this, I could now easily shop me into any place of the world. Besides that, I have a quite minimalistic setup, I would say. I just need my keyboard, my mouse and this microphone that I can bring in most of the time too close to my mouth so the voice is too loud. Besides that, I got my second screen which is used to have my code open uh, that I previously prepared for a tutorial and just a few I watch. Android device, cable for iPhones, everything here is pretty clean and now let's see uh, what the result of this is. So now that you know how it looks behind the camera and how I do everything in a technical way, let's also look at what I actually really do. If you're not yet a member of the Ionic Academy, um, you will only know about the screen which is the basic landing page. But of course, we have an inside area where all the content is. The Ionic Academy is my uh, online school to help people learn Ionic in the best and fastest possible way. I offer courses, written material, a community, discounts on different things, and all of this combined in one platform. So if you happen to purchase courses on Udemy or Pluralsight or other platforms, you know that there are tons of different materials. And the Ionic Academy is really only focused on Ionic and that was my plan when I started this. In terms of uh, the technical stuff, as I said before, I use WordPress simply because it works uh, and you can get started really fast. There are a lot of bad things about WordPress, but there are also a lot of good things that help you to get started as fast as possible. In terms of content, uh, let's quickly look at what we got. One of the coolest things uh, we actually have since a few months, I think, is a roadmap, which basically lets you go through a path of content. So you don't select any course, but you can uh, start at different stages. You can get started, uh, you can uh, venture into a layout or starting to build a first real project and then understanding more and more topics and you can track all your progress in this roadmap and advance to different stages which helps to simply um, make progress faster in a better way and not just doing this and that all the time. Because uh, the course archive 
is already pretty big. If I scroll through all the courses, uh, you see we got a lot of initial Ionic 3 content, but we also got quite a few Ionic 4 tutorials right now, with this one actually being released this week, I think. So I have to release this today. Every month there's a new course uh, on different topics that the members of the Academy also influence. So if they bring up a topic um, and others say they're interested in this as well, it is likely to become a full-blown course and this is how a course inside the Academy looks like so if you only see the picture from the outside there are always like 8 to 12 lessons in each of the courses and most of them are in the video type just like you used from the tutorials you see on YouTube this is really exclusive for Ionic Academy members besides the courses we also have the quick win section which was previously available to everyone but I decided to make the written version of all of the quick wins only available for Ionic Academy members. So uh, outside members will only see this initial part to see if they're maybe interested in the topic and the rest is hidden. Only the YouTube video is currently uh, available for everyone. Uh, I, I don't know if I will change this in the future for now. It will be like this. There are quite a few quick wins as well. I'm not sure how many actually. Well, yeah, quite a few as you can see. So besides the courses, which are most of the time uh, video material and the quick wins, which are written material, we also have resources. And these resources are uh, deals, bonuses that I try to work out with different content creators like the inept starter store, um, different software, which I think might be interesting or even uh, app templates like these. So from time to time I try to reach out to these creators or they contact me. The FAQ section still needs a bit more love and as I said before we also have a members only community in which we have already quite a few posts I would say. And also additionally on top of this I have a Slack channel for all of the members of the Ionic Academy which is also exclusive for the members. So. You basically have the learning side with the courses and the quick wins. You can ask questions in the community. Uh, if you have your own project, you can get feedback on it in the community. And we have the Slack channel for immediate help if someone has like a, an issue blocking him and not allowing him to continue with a project. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, adventure behind the scenes of the Ionic Academy into the private area of the users. In terms of numbers, over the years we had more than 3,000 uh, members of the Academy. Of course, not 3,000 active right now because members come and go. That's just a regular thing. But I'm really super happy that we had already so many people in the Academy that are now creating apps in the world and I'm kind of slightly a bit connected to each of their own applications. Besides that, every week I also record welcome videos using a software uh, called Bonjoro. So I uh, say a little hello to every new member that joins. I just want to send a quick personal welcome to you. So greetings from Germany. Which is one of these things that huge companies don't do because it doesn't really scale but I'm not a big company. I'm just Simon from the Ionic Academy and I'm the face of the Academy to some degrees. I'm personally involved in the business. I have no content writers, I have no virtual assistant or anything like this. I manage everything myself. Besides that I'm of course developing new ideas all the time like currently the uh, holiday calendar. Next year perhaps maybe something like an Ionic challenge for 20 or 30 days where we do something together. I'm not yet decided about this. And basically the Academy is now the uh, main focus of my business. It's the hub of all the other things. So when I create a product, I will promote it first to the members of the Academy. If I build something like the uh, tool that we discussed a few weeks ago, it will definitely be available to the members first. So this, this is really my, my inner circle, I would say. Now I hope you enjoyed this episode of Behind the Scenes in the Ionic Academy. I hope you now see when you see a new video uh, this room and what is going on and how much work actually goes into each of those single videos. Especially these vlog videos take editing like about two hours per video. If you add this on top to all the regular tasks I do every week, I actually don't have a lot of time for anything new. But I'm still happy to do this and share this with you every week and especially 
if you comment and uh, share with me what you think about the videos and also your questions for next week's Ask Me Anything. I'm happy about every new member, so if you decide that the Academy is for you, check it out, ionicacademy.com. I would love to see you inside. Have a great week and build something great either as a member or not as a member of the Academy. And next week I will catch you for the Ask Me Anything. Remember, five second pause, leave your question and then I'm looking forward to your questions. So have a great week and enjoy the holiday season and this gets worse every time. Enjoy your week and I will catch you next week.